Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous corner easel pop-up card. Now I have done this before, I done it about two years ago on my channel and I've done it in a 4x6 version. So if you don't have 12x12 12 12 cardstock and you'd like to make this card, then click on the link that will drop down here and it will take you to that tutorial where I use, you can use letter size or A4. But today I wanted to revisit it to make a 6x6, so you need a piece of 12x12 12 12 cardstock. But it is so much fun. I made this one during a Facebook Live and it was really well received with already lots of people sharing their versions over on our group Mixed Up Crafters. So I've used Penelope the Penguin on this one and then I've created this lovely little scene behind her and I've used some of my papers there as well. Now the whole thing folds flat so you just there's a little velcro dot there and then it all folds into this size. Now I'm waiting for another paper pack to come so I can continue this paper on the front. So I've just added the mirrored card but I will add that and then my sentiment on the front there, winter wishes, because this card is designed to be displayed open so you won't really see this. But you do have space here on the back and I've heat embossed my sentiment there for you to be able to write your message. And then it would fit into one of my boxes. So I've already made one here and I will link them again just up here. And they're the envelope boxes for six by six and five by seven cards. But you can see there, it fits very nicely. So that just makes it easy to post, whether you're gonna to go to the post office or by hand that end in there there we go okay so yeah you'll be able to make that as well so let me show you how to make this really fun card okay so I've already done most of the bits that you need because it's pretty straightforward to do so you want a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock if you want to do the smaller version then check out the one here because that's your 4x6 and that's using A4 paper or letter size this is obviously a 6x6 so you need that larger piece really simple scoring you just want to score at six inches then rotate and score at six again okay the rest of the scoring we'll do without the scoreboard so I would use a metal stylus actually I'll just grab this one here and a metal ruler and you've got four squares the bottom two you want to do a score line from the center down to the bottom left and then the center down to the bottom right Okay, so if I just, there we go, you can see there, you see the main score lines through the center, and then you'll see this score line here, and then I've got my other one here. So you wanna now fold and burnish all of those lines. And then these ones here, you want them to be mountain folds, because they are gonna end up folding up into the, the card. So just pinch across there, just up to the, the corner, and again. You can do this once you've cut down the middle, but it's, it's quite easy to do like this. Just make sure you get nice points there at the ends. Okay, so now you just wanna do one cut line. You wanna cut up this center one just to the middle here. Like so, and what I'm actually gonna do is I've got the score line on this piece here. So I'm gonna remove the score line because you're gonna be sticking one over the other. This will just also take away a little bit of the bulk and you'll get a much nicer finish. There we go. So now that is going to sit on top of this one. Like so. You've got a really nice size card there. And then when it folds flat, that will come up inside. And you can see when everything's folded down, you've got your 6x6 card. So what you want to do now is attach. It's up to you whether you want to put the that one over this one or that one over that one. It doesn't matter. I'm actually probably going to do the right over the left. Now what I would say, like I said in that older tutorial, is use when you use your glue, I wouldn't go over the actual fold here, this score line, because if you kind of interfere with it too much with the glue, I'm going to use the cloud, but I, I mean, I would say any of your white glues will be okay as well, but you are doing a larger surface, you might get a little bit of warping. So I'm gonna to stick to the cloud, but I'm not gonna go over that score line in the center. And then just bring that one over like so. And you're just lining up that fold. And then make sure you keep it flat and you want it to dry flat because that is the orientation you need it to be and we can always work that score line again but whilst you're putting it together keep it like so 
okay so whilst you've got that section done you might as well do all these mats and layers because the middle easel piece is a, you know got a bit more going on so I've got this one for the front so this silver piece is five and three quarters squared and then the pattern paper is five and a half squared and I'm using this one here the North Star paper pad it's a beautiful pad and this one's the snowflakes and this one that's going inside has got that pearlescent or pearlized cardstock there with the snowflakes on so you'll actually want four pieces of the five and three quarters squared in the silver because I'm doing this one for the front I've kept it very very basic because really it's going to be on the back you're not going to see it so much only when they take it out of the envelope this one here I have already stamped hope your Christmas is super chilled and I've used my builder scene builder stamp set and it's just this one here and that is going to go on the back so you have all that space to be able to stamp and write your message and then I've done two more which are going to be inside which have these little scenes on them so I've used the baubles and the presents and those are from the same pack as the bear which I'll show you in a moment but I just stamped six of the presents and then I stamped a number of the baubles and I've just coloured them so I'm going to stick this all down and then I'll show you how I stuck the rest of the baubles and the presents on that other piece Okay, so I've stuck the one on the front, the one on the back, I love all the silver embossing powder, and then I have this one so far in the middle. So all I've done is just coloured them all, I kept them very, very simple, and then I've cut six of them and I've just stuck them with a bit of hot glue onto the back of this piece of twine, and then I can just attach that like so. Just think it looks really cute. I'll probably put a little bit of glitter over these as well near the end. And then these three here just kind of stuck. So I've got those ones towards the right hand side of that one. So this one I'm going to have towards the left. And that one and then this one I've put on some foam. So there is dimension to this and it will work better I think to use my box envelopes, the 6 by 6 box envelopes which I will link now for you. And then that one's just slightly in front of them all. Like I said, that little bit of dimension. I think it looks really nice. So I'm just going to pop some glue onto the backs of all of these ones. Give that a minute to dry, but you can see now that's all stuck down. So actually I can do the back of this one as well. So I'm just going to attach it to the card. Okay, so now you can see I've got that nice little scene that I'm starting to create inside the card. And also I've got to show the stamp for the front there. So it's the Dovecraft Winter Wishes and it looks lovely in that silver. Okay, so for the easel section, so I've already gone ahead and I've stamped the lovely bow bear, that's what I call him. And you can have him as a brown bear or in my case I've done a polar bear and then I've also just stamped and cut out his scarf. So I'll stick that one down first. Now I was going to put it yeah, I think um, I'm just, I probably, actually I'm going to leave the foam off because I'm already starting to build up quite a bit of foam. So I think I'll just stick this one with glue. But I'm just going to bring it up there and it just fits nicely into that circle. Bring it up a bit more there, there we go. I think that looks so good. Next, what I've done is I have these ovals here, and these were actually the ones that I used on the original one, but I'm using the larger one here, so I'll just tell you the sizes. So this one is gonna be the base. So this is what is gonna sit at the bottom of this here. Now you could go bigger than I have, but I would say just keep it about a quarter of an inch from the outer part here and on the inside sides here as well. But this one is, just over four and a half. Yeah, you're looking at four and five eighths. These are old, I can't remember where I got these ones from. I wanna say the works possibly. Then what I've done is I've got the next size down. Okay, so anything, you know, like I said, close to the sizes I've used, but you'll see there the blue is what I've cut using this one here. And it's about, it's literally just a smidge under four. Okay, now with this one, you want to have your main top as this is the piece you can see when that pops up. That's what you're going to see. But also, you want to use that to cut the main easel card. So this is actually just some 
that I had of this same colour in my scrap and it was from another project where I must have cut for a 6x6 card base so I'm just using that but you basically want to bring the circle up to the top fold here okay so whatever size circle you've got ignore the side that I've got 6x6 here you just want to make sure that you bring your circle up to the score line and it just overhangs slightly you see I've got the cut line slightly coming off the edge there and now I'm going to run that through both pieces. You might need to add a metal shim or some copy paper just to give it a bit more pressure. Okay, so that one was cut away there. Just open that one up. And then what you want to do is with the top one here is just fold it in half. So for me, I've got that scallop detail. I just want to line that up like so. And obviously it's going to go slightly over, which is fine, like that. Basically, when you light it flat, that fold should be in the middle of the circle. But now you can see we've got our easel and then he is now going to go and stick on the front like so. And that's just a mini easel card, it's very very cute, lots of people you know do these smaller cards for they're going to add some glue to this half here. I'm going to line up the shape there, that scallop shape, just like so. And then I have the Berry Merry Christmas which is the sentiment that comes in the stamp set, so it's just at the top here. And I've already heat embossed the sentiment and I've put some foam between the card and the silver there. And this is going to act as a stopper, so it's going to keep that upright. So I'm going to probably put some more foam on the back actually just so it is lifted even more. But as long as you've got some of it lifted up because it does need to, like I say, catch that piece so it um, stays upright. And then it's up to you to decide how high up you want it to stand. I'm going to just use my sentiment as the guide really so I can make sure I get it into the circle. Keeping everything nice and straight. But I think that looks really cute. And that's how you make, if you've never made an easel card before. I have lots of them on my channel. I'll put the playlist here actually. Because you can make obviously larger ones and different shapes and stuff. But then all that happens then is that folds down flat and then that will all go in the cards. So next, what you want to do, because we're going to be using a, I'm going to use one Velcro dot. I'm going to use these here, and these are, they look like they're 15 mil. I'll link them, because I believe these are the Velcro brand ones that I have. What's going to happen with this is one half is going to be stuck to this side. The other half will have the Velcro dot. So that's what, whoever gets it will push the Velcro dot down, and that will keep the whole card in this shape but you don't want to have the velcro on one side and stick glue on one side because otherwise it's going to kind of lift up like that so you want to lift this side up as well so you want them to both be raised so i'm just going to bring in some of the foam again and i'm just going to kind of roughly in fact if i do it that way flip it over and then you can see where you want to add your foam so i'm just going to pop my squares just on this side here. They're all on that side, or that half. This half here, you're going to put your Velcro dot. So I'm going to pop that there. So I put the pair together, so that's sticky on the top there. So I'm going to take all the backing off of this. Keeping that so that it goes right down that half, I can then just make sure it's in the middle here stick that down so you know your card will this will all go flat which is what you want and then this is going to now go on top of there and it just finishes the card perfectly so I'm going to use double-sided tape on the back of this I don't want to add any more dimension to the card because there's already plenty so I'm just going to pop some double-sided tape because I'm sticking it onto that silver surf that shiny surface there Again, just make sure that's all nice and straight and then that will just pop up and there is the finished card. How wonderful is that? I love making, in fact I forgot how much I love making these. I think I might even add a little hat to him as well which I have in the props stamp set so yeah, you may see that um, in the photos at the end but I think it's turned out wonderful and then all that will happen is they pop that down. You may want to pop some instructions in with this card but everything folds up so there is you know you have got some bulk to it there so it would definitely you know work better with one of my 
envelope boxes like I'll link in but again they should see straight away that is going to they see the velcro so they're going to know to do that but they might not know that they need to pop that piece up so okay so I ended up adding a hat to Beau Bear I thought it tied in everything really well and it just makes him look even more cheeky so that's that one finished and then I'll just bring it back in the one that I made earlier again I think they look fantastic and here is the box again so just check out that tutorial I'll link it here now as well um, because they're really handy you don't just have to put cards in them you know it's a nice size for a small scarf you might have some sweet treats small bits of makeup you know you decorate these boxes they're really really handy so thank you for watching today as always I will link all of the supplies that I've used in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with another fun tutorial see you later bye